There we go. Let's try that. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Java Chat. This is Coffee with Mike. Uh, this is part five for AI machine learning and how it can help your business profit. Uh, <clears throat> we talked a bit about over the last uh, four weeks what machine learning is, what it's about, what it can do, uh, and, and now it's basically how do you use it. Uh, one of the biggest things I learned from one of my mentors learning about machine learning and uh, deep learning, deep neural networks, in business, in order for you to have an edge, you need to know something your competitors don't. For the most part, that's usually what they call business intelligence, and that comes from analyzing data, taking a look at trends, taking a look at uh, markets and how they move, what's going on. Now there's a way to do it even better with machine learning, because you still had to look at markets and you still had to look at audiences. Now you get to look at individuals. And you can actually use machine learning in order to figure out exactly what that person's doing within the buyer's journey. Um, I'm thinking this week I'm probably gonna put up the buyer's journey in a, in a pictorial form, an in infographic, <clears throat> where it looks like a funnel <clears throat> for you guys to take a look at. And then a little bit of more information about how uh, machine learning identity resolution in particular can actually benefit your efforts in paid advertisement. If you're paying money for advertising, even if you're only, you know, if you're only doing a dollar or two, something like that, you're probably doing it for branding or video ads. That's cool. Get reach. But if you're actually going for leads and things of that nature, and you're putting in budgets that are over, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars a month, this is something you're really going to want to look at because it's going to change your cost of acquisition again. Because the machines can look at the individual, what they're doing, and where they're at in the buyer's value journey. As a <clears throat> as a business owner, whether you're a specialist or we have sure have a lot of traffic today. Do you mind just closing that door? <laughs> oh, what's so interesting is we used to actually have a very quiet back road, and ever since they built a school, everybody <laughs> uses that back road now. It's hilarious. Um, so back to it. When you're doing paid advertising, whether you're in financial planning, insurance. Uh, whether you're in uh, you know, uh, coaching, consulting, things of that nature, when you're looking for higher ticket items and you're putting out a budget in order to be able to really bring in the traffic, you don't want to be spreading out your uh, paid advertisement uh, carelessly. You want to be able to use the right, kind of, the right kind of strategies, the right kind of data. A lot of times what they do in, in Facebook is they give you a custom audience uh, that you can really drill down as much as you want so that you can get, um, so you can get Facebook to basically look at their own database and go, okay, uh, John's looking for this type of person that is this old, this much income, this is where they probably live, and this is probably what they do. Oh, and they happen to be interested in these kinds of things. So Facebook gives you those, just that enough choices for them to go back to their database and go, okay, here, we'll give you an audience to work with, custom audience. When you're bringing the data, because you've actually resolved identities of either people that have already been to your website, or finding an identity graph that can give you that kind of data of people that have been looking in market that haven't been to your website yet, but are looking for your kind of product, you step yourself one up from all your competitors, because whether they use attribution, print tracking, the best custom audience drill down that you can possibly do, and even if they're using um, a digital partner like an Axiom or something of that nature, Axiom doesn't give you the, the, the file. It's still treated as second party, or even more so, even that data becomes stale after about a week. That's the advantage of being able to have access to your own identity graph or working with somebody that has access to an identity graph that will bring you that data. So again, how does that work for you? You get that data transferred directly to you. You use that as a custom audience telling Facebook, I get it. You have your data. I do too. Use mine. Use my data. This is who I want to advertise to. Facebook then looks at it and goes, "Okay, we got to use that data. We actually have, we actually have that too. Okay, so we got it. Google does the same thing. Oh yeah, we know these guys. We got that too. Okay, they're they're fresh. They're we'll use this. Then to create a lookalike audience off of that kind of data, that's a lot more up to date and a lot more comprehensive. Gives you a better shot at talking to the person before anybody else. Does that make sense? Okay. Try to keep this short. The idea of using identity resolution in order to drop your cost of acquisition and raise your conversion rates because your message is reaching your your customer at the right moment in time. That's what this is all about. All right.
you have any questions, feel free, hit the comments below. If you're watching this live, thanks for watching. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, make sure you share this out with friends that are doing paid advertising because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not seeing this info. All right? Thanks again for watching. Wish you guys all an amazing day. Do take care. Ciao for now.